pretty in pink. We are now just days away from peak cherry blossom bloom time here in High Park. However, experts are now warning that this beloved Toronto springtime tradition is at high risk of withering away. The average lifespan of a cherry blossom tree is around 25 to 40 years old. However, the vast majority of the trees here in High Park well, they're originals, meaning they are nearly 60 years old. And the folks at the High Park Nature Center say the trees are really starting to show their age. These are some of the oldest ones. Like you can you can really tell them they're pretty gnarly. <laughs> um, and like that tree with the crack down the center of it. Yeah. Like it's just incredible to me that it still has blooms and, and leaves. I, I kind of can't believe it. And that bad boy is nearing 60 years old. Absolutely. So you can see there's a lot of decay inside the tree. Um, the wood is pretty soft. Uh, you can see there's damage from insects. Um, and the split goes, you know, all the way down. It's it's rotting. You're surprised to see something like this yes. in a tree this old. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And so as soon as these start to die off, and they'll likely start to die off at around about the same time, then this tree or this hill won't have any more trees on it. Um, so I think it's really important that we start replanting and we do that very soon. <laughs> the trees were a gift from the Japanese government in 1959, but right now, the city says it has no concrete plans to replace them, often to wait for another donation of some form. The last planting was in 2006 when just 14 trees were replaced. The city adding today in a statement, while we have not lost a single tree since our last planting in 2006, we know that we need a proactive plan for maintaining and growing the aging grove of cherry trees that bring us the blossoms every spring. So new trees will eventually need to be brought in. However, changing all 250 trees at once would mean a drastic change to the look of High Park for potentially decades to come. I would say that's probably one of the trees that was planted in, in 2006 or around about, so about 10 or 11 years old. So there's about a 50 year age difference between the, the two. We definitely won't see the big, you know, fluffy white clouds of blooms that we see now. Um, if it were peak bloom right now, basically the canopy across the, the Cherry Hill Road there would, would close over and it just looks like you're in the clouds. So it would be many years before the canopy would close over again with younger trees and before we'd get that same cloudy effect. Last year there was no peak bloom and experts blame that partly on the tree's age. The weather was all over the map in April including a frost and the trees weren't able to fully recover. And predicting this year's bloom hasn't really been easy either. The initial time frame was supposed to be around May 3rd. However, experts now predict that these trees could really start their peak bloom by Monday or Tuesday next week. In High Park, Amanda Ferguson, City News.